If you're looking to buy some cheap mutt coins, check out themuttmarket.com. Support this channel by using the code CLICKWIT at checkout and receive a 5% discount on your purchase. The link will be in the description. What's up YouTube, Clickwood here back again with another Madden 15 Ultimate Team head-to-head -head seasons game. And guys, we are now in the playoffs. We got the first round by. I only lost one game in the regular season, and that was after getting completely screwed where it didn't count one of my wins. So, as you guys are going to see here, I am going to be playing in the divisional round. Obviously, if I do win this, I get a thousand coins, badge pack, or a, a pack and a badge, excuse me. So... Looking forward to try and get this W. Obviously, if you guys are seeing this here, you are going to notice that the players that I'm using, and this is my opponent's lineup, by the way, but the players that I'm using in this video do not include some of the players that were in my most recent pack opening video, such as Barry Sanders, because I recorded this prior to actually opening that Barry Sanders. So, hope you guys understand. There will be some Barry Sanders gameplay coming for sure, and that's going to be pretty cool because... Guys, he is a hell of a lot of fun to use. I don't know if he's quite as overpowered in this game as he was in last year's game, but man, I am having a lot of fun using Barry Sanders. I'm actually able to run the football when I have Barry on the field, so that's nice. But let's hop into the gameplay, guys. Very first play, my opponent is on offense, and I'm going to try and bring the blitz here right up the middle. Didn't really work out for me. He was able to pick up five there on the first play, and then it was the screen pass, but my team played it pretty well. For the most part, my, my users were not excellent in this game, but for the most part, my actual players on my defense played pretty well, which is a nice step up from what normally happens in this game, as we all know. Third and three here, my opponent is going to try and fire this one. I tried to cover that thing short. I wanted to bait him in to actually get him to throw that pass. He ended up kicking, or uh, punting it away, excuse me, and that was going to mean that I got the ball back on offense for the first time in this game. Maurice Jones-Drew is going to take this ball right up the middle for a nice gain, setting up what would be the second play of the game for me, and I'm going to make, I'm going to give him the same exact look, and then boom, that screen pass out to the outside. Demarius Thomas is gone. He is not going to be caught, ladies and gentlemen. That was delicious. Touchdown all the way for the score. Looking very, very good early in this one, but my opponent's passing game was actually pretty good. He was pretty accurate with his passes. Troy Aikman obviously made it a little bit easier. Not that that's like the most overpowered card or anything, but I know, you know, it's certainly better than like most people's quarterbacks at this point in the game. So uh, Troy Aikman definitely had a decent game against me. I, I was struggling stopping the pass and especially over the middle. My guys were right there in coverage, it seemed like, but he just kept on pass leading it in there. And, uh, you know, it's, you know, it is what it is. He played pretty well. End up making the tackle there to bring up second and two. But guys, overall, I, I feel like I played fairly well in this game, but not spectacularly or anything. As you see him picking up another first down, running up the middle with DeMarco Murray. Not really too much going with his running game. Four attempts at this point for 14 yards. But as you can see, it was enough that I really had to kind of respect the run. He just continued to kind of grind with it. Um, he wasn't picking up big plays or anything like that, but eventually I had to respect it, and he was able to hit me over the middle for a first down, and then the very next play, I have no idea what my cornerback was doing there. That was ugly as all hell. He wasn't anywhere near being able to make that play. Very, very frustrating. We give up the touchdown there to tie things up, but I am going to keep things going on the ground here. Maurice Jones drew third and three now, and I'm going to go with a pass to my tight end here. Oh, Demarius Thomas walked right into him, threw him off of the route. Should have been a big gain because he didn't really have anybody on him. But it's okay. I end up going for it on fourth down. Probably a very big risk, but um, I was willing to take it in this game. I just didn't feel like my opponent had a great offense, and his defense I didn't really feel like was spectacular either. He was pretty much usering his linebackers and pass rushing with them is what it really seemed like he was doing to me for the most part. And when guys do that to me, I just don't really worry about it. As you see me juke him out there, drops his pants in the middle of the field, and that kind of pissed him off, I think, because the next play, he came out in a punt return formation, and yeah, I'm just going to bomb it to Larry Fitzgerald here. I mean, I don't know what my opponent was doing here. I think it was just a matter of frustration. He hit sticks there, and we walk into the end zone for a touchdown. And as you guys can probably imagine, yeah, the rage quit came shortly thereafter. Not particularly surprising, I suppose. He wasn't really able to do anything defensively, and I was able to walk away with the W in this one, so I am happy about that. 
Short video, guys, today, but I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel. The next video will be up in the next day or two here for this this uh, Head to Head Seasons game. So thank you guys so much, and I will talk to you beautiful bitches again soon.